Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Total War Rome 2 Caesar in Goal. That's me done with uh, most of my assignments, apart from my dissertation, so it's been nice to sit down, had a cup of tea, and it's time to start recording. So, it's not, this, I think it's going to be my second episode in the Caesar in Goal expansion pack. The first episode basically just saw the army coming around here, sieging the settlement, and taking it from the enemy um, while, I, while I started doing things with... Uh, um, getting some technology. Uh, we have some money now, so straight away I'm going to be able to get the uh, that training field, um, and then after that I'll be able to get to the manipulative manipula barracks. So that means I'm going to be able to actually start building these training fields. Because uh, wait, what? I don't need the training fields. I need the manipulative barracks. It'll take a while until that comes through. Never mind. I think. Hmm. So I don't think I, I can't reach search that. Right now, I'll need to get this first. Plus two Imperium. Mark Antony will join my cause. You know what? I'm gonna get Mark Antony because he's a badass. Um, this army isn't fully recovered yet, so I'm gonna leave him there for a turn because this city is still pretty angry. We're gonna have to convert that to a Roman city, and I think we're gonna build a public forum here to keep things happy. Now, I have a feeling that the these folks, the Helvetii, are going to assault my city. So the first thing I'm going to do is sabotage one of their armies, if that works. Looks like it might. Uh, oh, wow. So my agent is wounded, so that didn't work at all. Poor wee girl. See her on the floor there. Oh, well, we're going to have to deal with that. There's not much else I can do, I don't think. If we look at the uh, diplomacy, the Aedui, they're pretty shuffed with me. I've had a defensive alliance. You know, they just don't want to tie themselves any closer to me. But trade agreement sounds too. Okay. You don't want either a defensive alliance or a military alliance. That's fair enough. What about a client state? You don't want that either. Okay, we'll just have to build up our forces around them to get that to end up happening. For now, though, let's have a look at nothing Nothing's important has happened. Um... Helvetia is pissed. That will have everywhere else becoming pretty pissed, so let's leave the income as it is. And end the turn. Oh, and straight away, we have been assaulted by a Helvetia army, so the first thing we're going to do is defend this. The garrison is pretty much non existent, so it's just going to be my army versus theirs. There's some Celtic bowmen who are gonna. That means they're gonna be a bit better on the skirmishing side, but we do have siege weapons to smash anything that comes up against us. So this should be interesting. It's a walled city, so pretty. I, I think the damage has been repaired, so I can literally just sit in my city and uh, have them assault the walls. I th I'm, I'm I'm pretty confident on a on a night here. Obviously, their um, sword units are gonna be, so I can win that. But uh, other than that, I think we're going to be okay. The enemy army is completely gathered over here with some uh, mercenary naked swordsmen. That's awesome. Look at you. And what else is here? Mercenary naked swords again. Mercenary short swords. So it looks like they hired a bunch of um, mercenary swordsmen. So that's good. In any case, it's time to get my forces so we can... You know what, I'm, these are useless. They're completely and utterly useless. I, I, I just want to, I'm going I'm to place them here and then just charge them out at the enemy. Because, <laughs> just to disrupt them a wee bit. Um, let's get the rest of you away from the walls so we can actually have a look and see what's going on. Horsemen, I just don't need you. Let's keep you back away from the majority of the combat. It looks, in this map, which is interesting, because it looks like the enemy can deploy behind you. And if I was the enemy, I would put a bunch of skirmishers along this cliff so they can fire down into any enemy forces. That would have been... That's that's not that's not great, I have to admit, from a defensive point of view. Right, my general, let's get you over here. Right, to my two skirmishers, let's get you facing the enemy. So let's get you on those walls. There we go. So there we go, that's them there. Um, what can I do with them? Nothing, nothing great. Let's take that off. Right, now for the siege artillery... Let's get you in position and ready to smash some barbarians. So, why is it not letting me place these ones in four? There we go. That's nice. So, let's get you guys to fire explosives and you guys to fire poison. 
I'm gonna get you both on fire at will to begin with. Let's get my general a bit further away so it doesn't get smashed. And yeah, I think I'm gonna get these guys to head in first, depending on where the enemy is gonna be positioning. And then I think these are my best infantry units because they're all full. We'll get them here. You know, I'm just gonna put them here so they're just that wee bit more flexible in terms of where they can be. Same with this guy. I want them in front of the siege weapons so they don't get mangled by the siege weapons. And then I'll just keep these guys behind them just ready. Okay, that's me set up. I uh, probably took a wee bit too long to set up there, but meh, we can deal with it. First thing I'm going to do is send these guys out to just be a pain. I mean, they're not going to do anything, they're just going to die. But I hate having tiny little units like that, which are just useless. <laughs> so that's my... Uh... You know what, I'm going to get them to actually attack. Oh, that was nice. That was very nice. That well, that just pretty much annihilated <laughs> almost half. Oh wow, yeah, the poison rounds are cool. Just exploding corpses. So they should have that debuff on them. Oh, that was good. That's another good one. That completely. Oh wow. <laughs> you know, if I get them to attack this, they should be able to start hitting other things. Oh, and again, that it sounded like it hit something solid. Never mind. Oh, and once again, those corpses are just being chucked out and made to explode all over them. And that should, that debuff should have that kind of, what does that do? Reduces enemies, melee attack and defense, causes fatigue, reduces firing range. Let's do that against all of them. So you fire at them next. This one's just damaging them. Um, oh, wow, look at that. Look at all, all this poor stuff that they're getting chuck to them right now for this one they've got that debuff they don't have it anymore so let's think about you know what let's put this into solid round so it actually does damage rather than that silly little debuff because it doesn't actually hurt them oh that was good why are these ladders not destroyable like these ladders should be destructible let's get these guys to slight attack this ladder so they don't get closer um my skirmishers are both firing on these guys so we'll, we'll get that to attack them and we'll get this to attack them so this should be fine. Some nice assaults coming in. I actually, I think what I'm going to do is pull these units a lot closer here because they're obviously going to try and attack this point in the wall. So that's okay. And bring one of my infantry units over as well. Hopefully they won't get hit by the artillery there. But the artillery just fired, so it should be okay. So my skirmishers appear to be doing some a decent job. I'm actually going to bring them... No, no, I want you... God, that's frustrating. I want you over here, not, not on the wall. Oh, you know what? Let's get you there. Get you away from the fight. Let's get these guys to get up on the wall. Right up on the wall. Uh, so these guys are actually, wow, they actually managed to beat the Celtic warriors there, which is funny. I think it's because of the, the, the arrows from the towers, etc., that are attacking them. So, my Celtic Warriors are seeing off their Celtic Warriors as they're climbing up the wall. What on earth do you think you're doing, you idiots? Get inside. What an, like, why did that happen? Just come on. Let's get you up there. Oh no, it's a shameful display. What are you doing? Get back in there. Charge them. So this, this use of the garrison force as a sacrificial sort of thing has been pretty successful. I mean, the enemy have been completely disrupted by them. Let's get these guys back and put this lot on the wall. So this should be fine. Let's bring you up here so you start. Oh, look at that, just the amount of javelins. They're going to do some horrible damage, especially these naked fellows. Um, so that's fine. Oh, you, stop it. Just fire at will. Idiots. So they, they should be able to just fire at anything I choose them to fire at. I mean that cavalry unit is just gonna chase down my men, fair enough. An entire unit has perished. Come on guys, who are you gonna fire at? And if you hit anything friendly I'm gonna be pissed. You know what, come back here. Uh, I'm just, I just don't want to risk hitting my own things. I'm gonna win this no matter what. But I'm not willing to risk my own units in doing so. It doesn't look like they're trying to attack from any other direction apart from the front here, so I don't have to worry about getting flanked. Uh, my units, I 
think they may have even run out. No, they've still got a wee bit left. Oh, these archers are going to be... Can you hit these archers? Um, I'm actually going to pull my infantry back for now because they're obviously taking some damage from those archers. Um, bring the skirmishers up to the wall. Oh. I mean, they've got the defense, but the skirmishers are going to do some real damage. Uh, that's this lot. Okay, well, let's get you... I suppose we don't need you anymore, so let's just get you back into the, uh, the retreat. Now, what sort of units do they have left? Okay, they've got mercenary naked swords and mercenary short swords, but I'm tempted. Now, as noble horse, they destroy my cavalry. Never mind. Celtic light horse, light horse. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to charge my cavalry out. So they, I'm going to get them to come here, and then we're going to see about using them outside the walls. In any case, um, you know what? These guys are just taking hits. So let's just bring them back. These guys are okay because we can just have them up there using the last of their ammunition, but their skirmishes are going to do a hell of a lot more damage than mine at this point. Oh, they're going to try and smash down the wall there, so that's good. If I bring my infantry in, this is going to be a lot of fun. So I'm just going to stack two units, one inside the other for this bit. Uh, you, I want you to hit the noble horse. I want both of you to hit that noble horse. Ah, oh, their cavalry have pulled back. It's frustrating. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that was a horrible laugh. Oof. You completely missed. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, that was nice. <laughs> Oof. Poor general unit is taking some damage there. So what's going on here? Nothing much. You guys have run out of ammunition, so we might as well take you back, just like I did the other lot. Get you out of there. And General, let's get you out away from that assault. I'm actually going to get these infantry in and ready. Um, they're not even attacking that wall anymore. Oh no, they are still. Okay, fair enough. Right, so, things are looking fine. They can't even attack me over here, so I'm just going to withdraw this unit back into here. Um, yeah. Might as well just use these Celtic warriors to charge in after we while. Get these guys behind them. But they're, they're pretty safe in there. Right. Um, you've used all your ammunition. Let's get you away from the fight then. Let's withdraw you up. And you've also used all your ammunition. I'm just withdrawing all the units that don't need up there just so they don't get hit by anything accidentally. Um, including their skirmishers or any infantry that managed to get away. So, their noble horse seems to have taken a few good hits from my things. Um, these troops here are just having to kind of deal with the assault. I think I'm actually just going to get them into an attacking Sestudo. So that should mean, like look at that, like the amount of shields there are because they were grouped together. Oh, that's funny. So they should take a hell of a lot less damage by that assault. But they're also getting hit. Oh, hello! Fair enough. Didn't see that happening. They've charged their skirmishers in, so their skirmishers have been brave. Unfortunately, that was really silly, because, like, they're getting hit by the tower. They have my mercenary swordsman coming in. Oh, poor him. He just got hit in the back of the... Oh, oh dear. So that should be them just... Hello. Oh, that was a nice stab. Or keep an eye on the rest of the battlefield. Uh, nothing interesting happening. Cool. Well, that's them gone, pretty much, then. That's them. It's them ended. Um, a brief, brief reign of terror. So let's get you back into position then. <laughs> that was fine. Uh, that means they're skirmishers. They've only got these kind of Celtic slingers and their Celtic youths left. So neither of them are actually going to be very potent in this particular battle. Especially now I've got these guys with their shields. Uh, that's just not going to do anything. You know what? Let's just bring you back a wee bit. There we go. Um... How's the damage? It's still a wee bit long. There we go. Let's get you into that Testudo formation so we don't lose too many more. Hello. You're looking a bit red. That's a, that's not even one of your men. That's one of the... Huh. In any case, things are looking fine. I think I'm just going to uh, break this army here so it'll be easier when I don't have to attack it when I leave. Um, and after another turn, these units should heal up. God, just wait for this fire damage. I don't want things. I don't want to charge out because that noble horse really is... Well, I suppose there's not many of them left. 
I just don't, I don't really want to risk it, really. They're Bowman, they've got Celtic Bowman, and... Yeah. We have only got these, cut these few units of naked swords and stuff to attack with, and they're all hitting the door. Fire damage 69. Well, let's get it. Let's let's speed this process up. There's nothing out. I, I, I can't do anything. My tower will do fine. Um, it's going to keep firing. At the, why is it not firing at the enemies, actually? That tower should be decimating. But why isn't it? Well, that makes no sense. 98%. Let's get back to play. Let's get you guys formed up and ready. Out of that. Actually, I'm just going to get you like this. Like this this stopping anything from coming in let's get you guys ready to charge in from the sides where's the other there we go let's get you ready as well on this side so so you're gonna wait until that you're gonna run away and then run back that makes absolutely no sense at all whatsoever so we're waiting for that gate to burn down and then they're gonna come in and attack me that's just... oh hello What's being hit? These guys are being hit. Fair enough. Let's take them away from our range. Light horse. As soon as they send these heavy troops in, my cavalry is going to come out and start smashing them in the flanks. But as soon as they commit to this assault, they're just going to come in and wipe up the rest of them. Um, who are these kind of light horse, light horse, light horse? I mean, they're not too bad. They're not going to do well against the, uh, the noble horse, but they'll destroy the skirmishers. There you go. Here are the the. Uh, uh, the arrow tower is doing some real damage, you know, making them run before they even get there. Just going straight through those shields. <laughs> every single time. I guess they can kill pretty much every single time they throw. There we go. So that's them committing. And the rest of their forces appear to be coming in as well, which is great. Let's do it. Let's, let's get this assault going on. I'm going to come out and we're just going to start wiping up everything that's left. Oh dear, we're getting hit in the flanks here, so let's pull them back, because there's absolutely no need for them being there. You lot, begin the assault. You lot, begin the assault. Let's charge you in. There's no need for you being anywhere near their range. So here we go, we've got some light horse. Let's send two in from the front. Oh, they're actually coming to attack this one, so that's fine. So that's not going to do well for them at all. I'm actually just going to pull this unit around and hit them in the rear. Oh, and they've already run, I think. Pretty much. Go on, let's get you in. Smack, 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 smack. So it's a nice horse battle here. Um, losing, I'm losing quite a lot, but so are they. And that's them gone. So now it's time to come in and start hitting them in the rear. One of them to hit the Celtic Bowman. There's no way they can win this fight. So let's actually just have a look at that. They're already running. I'm actually going to continue so I can run down all the enemy I can. Using everything I can to run them down. So that should mean I'd completely and utterly just wipe out all of their forces. And I want to do that just so I don't have to deal with them later. If we completely destroy this army here, we don't have to worry about it. And anyway, I don't need these guys to run because they're just going to get tired because they're heavy infantry. Uh, but these guys, yeah, I don't need them to run either. My cavalry is going to do the rest of the work. Let's just get them back up. Doesn't look like there's going to be any kind of further worry. My generals come out, my cavalry come out. So we're just going to run down their infantry. I think their noble horse is going to get away, but there's nothing we can do about that. Looks like these guys have fairly nicely run down. <clears throat> so you guys have completely run down that Bowman unit. That's good news. Um, there's no way we're going to get that noble horse, but I'm going to send them out anyway. Just that I don't need them here. Oh, they, they, they ran up. Like, they ran inside. That's amazing. <laughs> like, why, why would they do that? Just, oh, and these cavalry like running up and glitching out on the wall. That's fun. One of my cavalry actually just kill my friendly fire there. Okay, let's get you off to these mercenary skirmishers. Let's wipe out these swords. So basically, we just completely and utterly wiped out the Helveti. This is kind of reminiscent of the actual fight that happened between um, Caesar and the, and the Helveti. I'm pretty sure. Basically, yeah, they had um, uh, the there's a Helveti. I think there was about seventy thousand of them, and they were going to come and attack the northern Italy. 
kind of walls that they had, North Italy, South, Southern Gaul, and uh, they had this kind of Roman defense set up with hardly any men, and the siege kind of like led the defense and ended up like wiping them out. Anyway, I think that's I think that's everything we can do. So let's go ahead and quit battle. We'll have a wee look and see. Okay, so 857, whatever they actually lost, 1,126, and we pretty much wiped out this force here. So let's see if we can completely and utterly destroy it. Um, no, it's not dead yet. We're going to enslave the captives, get some money, and unfortunately that then manages to flee. Never mind, we can deal with it. Um, yeah, okay, military traditions, that's fantastic. The first legion has started getting traditions, and we've adopted Mark Antony. Cool. Uh, Mark Antony adopted, so that, means that gives us a general, I think. So, I th that means... Oh, wait! The Brazen Bears. Are they an enemy or not? Okay, who are these? The Celtic Confederation. Celtic Confederation. We are not at war with them, but they're not happy with us. Why did they get... <sighs> Never mind. Let's recruit a general. So, Mark Antony, where is he? Uh, Brutus, he was a friend, and I'm pretty sure it was this Junius Brutus who ended up killing Caesar. Uh, but he was very young at this point. Longianus, I don't want Longianus, I want. There we go, Marcus, Mark Antony. Let's get you raised up in an army. I want you as a legatus. And what forces can we recruit? We can recruit legionaries. Oh, that's good. Uh, we can recruit legionaries and the skirmishers. So let's go straight away and recruit a couple of legionaries. Uh, I need you, you know, before you do that. Let's get you in the town, and then recruit the legionaries, so we can actually defend the settlement. Right, so that's that. Uh, we've got a bunch of mercenaries we can do, but I'm not too fond of using them. And that's it, I think. That's us. So, this army is pretty much fully recovered. They've got one uh, army up there, and that's the remains of what we completely and utterly destroyed. With two small cavalry units, pardon me. Uh, we've got our friends, the RGE up there, doing pretty well. Um, go away. Uh, thank you. And I think, yes, this is all going pretty well so far. I'm not having to worry too much. Hey, Ardui, see how, like, you're our bitch. You should have become our official bitch now. No? Okay. Why will you not do any of these things? What about military alliance? You know what? Never mind. We can just deal with it. Right. Um, nothing else to do this turn apart from choose another technology. I, I, if I could afford it, I'd love to get that. But there's no point in doing that for now because it's not going to actually do anything. Cattle trader, irrigation ditches, auxiliary camp. I'm going to get the, the irrigation ditches because that's going to give me some more food from my farm estates in northern Italy, which would be good. Uh, kind of in Pilent. Well, we could switch that over if we needed to, but in Medhan. Uh, so Versilium is kind of like the one that has the farm. We upgrade that to a farm. And anything else we build, we can upgrade the farm. So, right, end turn. Oh, oh yes, I forgot about the First Legion got their training. So, formidable fighters, perfect. The general isn't hasn't actually gone up. I think he might have to go up next turn. If I left him to kill a few more of the enemy, he probably would have gone up this time. Right, so things are looking good. The agent has come back, so we can actually send that agent, and we can send her up. Let's see if we can hunt down the um, army from the Hedui. Where actually are their nations? The he uh, the Helveti. Are they all the way up here? Where is the Helveti? Helveti, Helveti, Helveti. Did we destroy them? I think we may have just destroyed the Helveti. Let's have a look. See, it'll, come, it'll come up here. Uh, no, it's not come up. Legionaries. Before I'm sure. I, where are they? They're not here. Um, maybe they changed into the Celtic Federation. That maybe was the Helvetia, and they've changed over now. But we're, we're at war with the Carducci. But I can't see that we're at war with anyone else. Right. So Vivonkiti is a client state, but I want to trade with them. I want a trade agreement with you. How much is that worth? Sixty-six. That's really not that great. Um. But they would give us marble. They don't like giving gifts to the Arverni. They don't like our aversion or expansionism. Um, yeah, how much? I'm going to give them some money. Offer payments. Got a wee bit. That'll still 
have enough. No, okay, never mind. We'll leave that for now. Okay, so let's have a wee look at the spy. Get, get her to come over here. We can't do that this turn, obviously, because I've already moved her. Right, well, we need to get this army involved somehow. Let's build... No, wait, money, money. Um, what should we spend it on? I think I'm going to spend it on the amphitheater so we can get that public order bonus. Unfortunately, that does mean we can't spend anything here. And it means I'm going to struggle to recruit more legionaries. 900 for every single legionary unit I cross. Why is that so expensive? We need to kind of get that down if we can. Um, I mean, what other units can we recruit for these? I didn't even look. Levy Freeman. They're terrible. In which case, that's going to be hard. Okay, that's going to be difficult. I think we just need to try and keep this army alive. Desperately keep this force there and ready. Um... I think the only enemy I have at the moment is these guys over here, the Carducci. Uh But I can't get to them without going through these tribes here. So that's frustrating. Um, Alebrogis, we like you, don't we? We're friends with you. How about a trade agreement? They, yeah, you'll get a trade agreement. What about a defensive alliance? No, you don't want that. Uh, military alliance? Nope. Defensive alliance? No, you didn't. I already did that. Client state. Go on. You know you want to. No. Right, well, in that case, I don't think there's anything I can do, so that's fine. So we've got trade with these guys. That should start off. Oh, no, no, it was these guys. No, it wasn't. It was up here. Back up here. So we should be able to see into their realm now. So this is the ADUE. But then we've also become friends with the Alabrogas. So we can now see their army as well. So things are looking much better. Um, yeah. Things are okay. I think I'm going to have to basically just come up here and take out... I don't like the Celtic Federation army sitting in my lands. <clears throat> I don't like that what it whatsoever. Anyway, in turn, there's nothing else we can do for now. Yep, yeah, and that's the end turn phase complete. That's going to be the save, um, obviously, because you can't save mid-game. Construction complete and trait gain, so that's a nice lack of war there to end, to end this on. We've got a good start. Making our way into Gaul, obviously. We've not actually conquered another province, however, we sorted out that army that was going to try and take it away from us. And we solidified a few more relations. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, please tune in for episode 3, which will be being uploaded in the next few days as well. So, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.